and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Gruul aggro. This is a best of one deck, even though we got that sideboard over here because of Vivian. And what we're doing today is we're playing best of one decks here for the win every card challenge that's happening this weekend on Magic Arena. The It's from the 5th to the 7th this weekend. <clears throat> what it is, it's an event where you get to play any card that you want in standard. That's right. All the cards are are available to you, even if you don't have them. You don't, you're not only limited by the cards that are in your collection. And you build the deck and you play best of one matches and you only get one try in the event. So you just get one, what, why are you biting me? <laughs> you just get one, um, <laughs> I think Hawkeye wants more than one try. You just get one try with your deck um, and you have to uh, use, um, or so you have to win 12 matches before you lose two matches, which I guess are just games. So that's really tough to do. So you're gonna have to get pretty lucky to be able to do that. But it's a free event. And if you are lucky, and if you do win 12 before you lose two, then you win one copy of every card on Arena. So it's just a cool free event that that's this weekend where you could win each card. You shouldn't be expecting to do that. You know, that's gonna be something that you'll have to get really fortunate to do that. But what I wanted to put together, I've had a lot of people ask for different deck lists and everything. So what, what I wanted to do today is put together some lists. So here's, so we had five lists today. Our first two didn't work too well, but these other two have, and we'll see what the tiebreaker is here with this, this deck. Some lists that uh, you can play in the event and they're, they're good aggressive lists where you don't have to be too worried about what your opponent's doing, no matter what your opponent's playing against for the 12 rounds, you know, the, your deck will work just fine. And I also went with decks that are a little bit easier to pilot kind of in general also. Just, you know, like if you're kind of newer to Magic also, you know, easier decks to pick up. So um, hope you checked out. If, if you missed any of the other videos, hope you check those out too if you're watching this later on YouTube. But for now, we're going to get to Gruul Aggro. This is definitely a deck where we're just going to be trying to curve out, play our creatures, and attack. That's what it's going to be all about. Um, Pell Collectors are only one drop. The Wildborn Preserver is, is a two drop that's... Um, a little um, controversial, I guess. Like, there's other two drops that we could be playing here. Growth Chamber Guardian. Um, um, like, Growth Chamber Guardian is an option. Um, Zertar Goblin is also an option. Robber of the Rich as well. So, like, there's there's other two drops. If the Preserver doesn't end up being too impressive here, that we could switch to that So uh, while we watch the games here. Domri's Ambush is an awesome awesome removal spell grows our creatures which is really important plus kill something absolutely love domri's ambush um spellbreaker questing beast ceratops these three cards are like the meat of our deck gives our we have some uh gives our deck haste uh gives our deck a lot of damage output as well heart hell kites at the top end which is also a, a haste threat domri anarchobolus can be removal plus pump our creatures um, yeah, it's just a, a pretty good deck. Like we're we're being aggressive here. Hopefully this works out better than our, than our Golgari aggro earlier. So let's give it a try. What's up, Rex? So we're gonna play seven seven games here. We're playing over and ranked. So we try to get some good good solid competition to show how how the decks do. So as you can see, we played seven with each other deck so far. Um, I was actually, so I played, I played a deck just like this, but in best of three earlier today. And I was actually, and I played Bone Crushers and I was actually really disappointed by the Bone Crushers. The, the deal two wasn't, wasn't, um, like it didn't help too often. Like it didn't kill things I needed to kill. The four, three body, like didn't, didn't match up against like Oko making three threes. And it's just a, a card that I didn't really like having in my hand very much. I think I want to get rid of Ceratops. I mean, it's either Ceratops or Hellkite. I mean, so Hellkite is the card that costs the most, but Hellkite with flying, like Hellkite can can end games like with the flying that the Ceratops can't. We have the Paradise Druid, so it's like we have three mana. Rise Alive. Keeping with that sub as well. Thank you so much there, Rise Alive. It's like we need, we need two mana for Hellkite. 
where we only need one mana for the Ceratops. I, I guess we'll just get rid of Hellkite. I don't know. I kind of want to get rid of Ceratops. Hellkite's so powerful. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna trust my gut. I'm gonna I think we're gonna draw two lands, and I'm gonna keep the Hellkite. All right, so that was our eighth sub of the day. <laughs> we gotta cook the goose. Let's cook this goose. So if I go Paradise Druid again the next turn, then we set up for Hellkite the following turn. But I think this time we're supposed to just play the Spellbreaker. Storm count is nine. Not B. I was behind. I was, I was behind. All right. Thanks, Arcandis. Ooh. Huh. Your I'm playing that crisis like they did. It definitely seems like they're kind of missing colors and stuff. And so getting that goose out of there would probably be nice. I'm gonna just play the questing beast here so they get to attack with the Paradise Druid also. Yeah, Azorius went pretty good. Azorius is a is a high upside deck that that has a low floor too, like the Azorius Skies deck. It could it's the kind of deck that you know can can look kind of bad, but it's it's a good hands beat other decks good hands. And so if you're looking for a high upside deck to try to win 12 out of 13, the Azorius could be a good option for that. Um, but Simic Flash has felt like the, the best deck that we played. Simic Flash felt a lot better than the 5-2. Um, one of our losses, I will not fail. kept a hand I really need to mulligan. And so like that, you know, it's just best of one. And so I did a mulligan my hand, and, and that cost us. Behold, our other power. loss was against a Gruul deck that had turn one Pell Collector, Turn two, Zartar Goblin. Turn three, Spellbreaker. Turn four, Questing Beast. And they were on the play. Um, and I kept a two lander, and I didn't draw a third land either in that game. And so I couldn't counter, like, Questing Beast and stuff. And so I died. But besides that, it, it honestly felt quite good of a deck. All right, so this should just be lethal. I guess I could try this first, see if they play anything here. Wait, what are they at? They're at eight? Yeah, perfect. Okay. I don't know why they didn't activate their, their other thing just to untap. Like they could have just untapped like an O2 or something, just 
to have another blocker. But it turned out it wouldn't matter because we had, like, they can't block the questing beast, and then we had four in the air. But if they would have, like, they may have needed that O2 to be a blocker. Um, there's a link to the information about the win every card challenge is happening this weekend. That is awesome. Yeah, good job, Potest. I just saw your your uh, message there. Got your first seven win, zero loss time uh, constructed league. Congratulations. All right, good look at hand. This Planeswalker is so good. Very underrated still. Yeah, the Stream Decker website's not necessarily the best it there's times it struggles loading now the event is from the october 5th at 8 p.m pacific is when it starts and it ends october 7th at 8 a.m pacific so you have like so it's only like 36 hours They try to make it seem like it's oh, during the like it's like this weekend, but it's only thirty six hours. Little surprise they didn't just take the Paradise Druid and make me sit with four four drop or three four drops in hand. But I guess the Ceratops might have been difficult to deal with. Hmm, playing Pelt Collector then Paradise Druid is like the best for. My Pelt Collector and everything. But that's the worst play against Ritual of Set. I'm going to do it. Yeah, yep, the yeah, deck limit is now 75. I still wish it was more than that, but that's a start. It's better better than 60. So yeah, you can see the records over here, kid. I'd have to say that the the strongest deck has felt like Simic Flash, but the Azorius deck has a really high upside. Um, if you're looking for like a high upside deck to try to spike the event. I don't know the answer to that, Star, Stark ad. I don't know the answer to that. Why did it take my opponent so long to counter that? Actually, just counter the surveil one and just look at the top card and be like, oh, that card's awesome. I'm going to keep that. Just immediately keep each time. This is a matchup where Growth Chamber Guardian would have been nice to be able to play it and, and get another card.
So yeah, whenever they were making their decision with Drawn from Dreams, they didn't get to see those. Alright, questing beast time. A little death never hurt anyone. Man, I wanted to attack them, but honestly, the best the best course of action is getting Lilian out of here. Attacking them, you know, it does put them down to two, but then it does like force me to find something very very quickly to kill them because the Liliana just takes over. It's it's honestly worth killing Liliana for the long run. I'm I'm happy that we killed Liliana. That that's out of here. Yeah, I haven't I haven't tried it yet, Don. Because that Esper Mill deck, the the win condition was Mastermind's acquisition, and not having that card is pretty difficult for it. So do you think do y'all think that they're gonna play another Sinister Sabotage this game? They've played four so far. It seems like they have like eight of them in their deck. Every exploit ripples through time. Yeah, there's Fay of Wishes, but it's lies beyond to face so much worse. For that specific deck. Is that acquisition being able to you know get any card out of your library or um, or sideboard and then plus with Bond of Revival returns your your masterminds acquisition and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, sometimes they just draw every counter spell. That Liliana hurt quite a bit. Yeah, Vela Summer. Yep, yeah, Vela Summer is is definitely the best sideboard card in Standard, and besides that, just one of the very best cards in Standard. But it's really hard to play it game one it's why simic flash is so good in best of one compared to best of three because there is no veil of summer uh too much and so veil of summer is the card that really hurts simic flash quite a bit our deck doesn't really like the starting at three but I think this is pretty hard to mulligan. We have, we're on the draw, so we have two draws to maybe draw a two drop before turn three. Nope. But we got a whole lot of haste. All right, I'm going 1-1 one, one counter instead of 3-3 th three, three haste because of Oath of Kaya. All right, now Othakai would kill the Pelt Collector anyway, so I'll just go 3-3. Three, three. Uh, if I drew Skargan, gave it haste, like my opponent had a removal spell in hand, J-Double, so if I, if I would have drawn Skargan, they would have killed it. 
So I, I had to like draw Skargan, they kill it, and then them also not find another removal spell, and I draw a third Skargan. Yeah, they had a removal spell that they revealed with the Narset previously. Haste is good. Haste is pretty good. So I have the Wish Claw Talisman if I want to do something with it. Let's slow this down. Let's try this. Don't know what they're going to do for two mana. All right, two and one. What do we lose to? Um, we lost to Demir Control. And then just beat Esper. And defeated something else. Also, this rugged Highland is awkward. I think we just want to go Pelt Collector, then Preserver. Hmm. Okay, that makes it a little less awkward. I, I could go like Highland here plus another Pelt Collector, and then I could have the Ambush available if need be. This Avatar was the, or like this, which one? The Fibblethip should should have came into an email if you played in the beta. Should, like if you if they have your email like they sent out they sent out emails with um, codes for the Fibblethip. the Mu Yanling was just one that you could purchase a little while ago I don't remember exactly when. So yeah, you, you may need to like contact wizards or something if you didn't get it. Well, that's not good. Priest is priest is difficult to beat. Oh, 
That was pretty awesome for our opponent. Having two gutter gutter bones doesn't really get better than that. Yeah, you should still be able to claim it. This card back was a special card back given out at TwitchCon this past weekend. I don't think they're going to be activating Priest this turn. I could be wrong. I think I have a turn to like play the Wildborn Preserver first. With an ambush. Doesn't look good for us here. It looks like we're going to be 2-2. Two and two. My plan is have another Wildborn Preserver, and you'll make the other one a 3-3. Three, three. So I have a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2. Two, two. And these, these do have Reach. And so I could have a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2 two, two with Reach and double block Spawn of Mayhem. Double block a 4-4. Four, four. That's, that's my plan. Oh, and QQ is willing to do another giveaway. It has another code for these sleeves. So if we get to 20 subs tonight, we're going to have another giveaway. So, yeah, we'll have, we'll have a giveaway for these sleeves. If we get to 20 subscribers tonight. So we're at nine. One away from a sub goal. But then 11 away from the sleeve giveaway. So yeah, if you'd like, so man, thank you so much there, QQ. So yeah, if you'd like to help so support me as a streamer, the sub button gets you access to all 20 plus emotes there. But yeah, it is it is very late in the stream, so. What's up, Hank? Thank you so much for that resub. So there you go. Yeah, if you just have a notification for a resub, that counts there. Thank you, Hank. What the sub goals do Midnight Reaper. Hmm. What the sub goals normally do is um, whenever I get to twenty total, they add up. And whenever they get to twenty total, I do a twelve hour stream to celebrate and we are almost near our we're almost at our next one I think that's number 18 yeah so that's number 18 so we're only two away so we can have a, a sub a 12 hour stream from sub goals here in just a few days
Why is my opponent attacking? Why are they, they even making this attack? I mean, I have to block these. Otherwise, I'm dead. Okay. So they all right. So they just have lethal. They can play both those gutter bones. Activate priest. I'm dead. Hey, we got five gifted subs from Face Masher. Thank you so much there, Face. I really, really appreciate that. Y'all get some hype in the chat for our new subs. Thank you so much there. So, Illuvidator, Zyrums, Knockout Pill, the Hippie, and Pucks all join in our, our armada of hype boats there. Thanks, Masher. Thank you so much. So that gets us to 15. So that's halfway there. So we just need five other uh, subscribers here out of the 950 people we got in here. We'll get to that goal. QQ will gift, give away a code for these awesome looking sleeves. All right, Ninja Man, have a good night. No, I haven't made a Jeskai Super Friends list yet. I haven't made one yet. All right, so ETB make a food. Whenever you sack a food, you can pay one. With the top two cards, put a permanent from among them into your hand. If you think I'm crazy, wait till you see my mates. I think I should get this champion out of here. No more getting pushed around. I feel like I should get that champion out of there. They're doing a whole bunch of food stuff. Hmm. The challenge is this weekend. Yeah, there you go, hippie. Nice. Right, 
more Priest of Forgotten Gods. Wonder if they're playing Mayhem Devil with like the sacrifice stuff here, like you know, the fetch land. Wow, Ele Let's keep this uh, in idea. Elevator, you are so, so kind as well, man. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks, Elevator. So, getting us there to the goal. That gets us to 20. All right, time for a giveaway. Oh, love all these, all this hype. In the chat, Deathsta, thank you so much there too, and Kearns. Oh man, I guess we're going towards the next one. Deathsta getting in there, Kearns getting in there. So many people, thank y'all so much. All right, so we're gonna do a giveaway here for these sleeves. Yeah, giveaway time. Ah, uh, thanks, Majir. Thank you. Um, <laughs> we'll do we'll do something different. We won't do MTG bot this time. Um, let's do. All right, so giveaway time. Um, <laughs> we won't do Garuk. Garuk doesn't work. Or Gar Garuk doesn't work. Um. We could do Domri. Let's do Fox. This is a, this is a cool Fox. We got we got like the the Fox here, for like the new the new pet. So Fox, there you go. Yep. So this is for this is for a code for these sleeves. We'll do it after this. We'll choose the winner after this game. So all I have to do is type the word Fox into chat. To be entered into the giveaway and thank you so much qq image for doing this all right so we're facing another green deck here another gruel deck we got a mirror match j double r2 with the mirror So Pell Collector can just continue to grow. This could be the only time that Paradise Druid could actually trade with it. Blocking makes Wildborn Preserver worse. I'll say no because it makes Wildborn Preserver worse. Stop in. So yeah, just that's all you gotta do is type Fox into the chat. They could have like Spellbreaker go to try to kill my Domri. Or you know, questing beast, something like that. Can just, that can happen. Domri just doesn't feel super strong here. Well, that's lucky. They're gonna use like a collision colossus or something. A colossus? Wow. All right. I'll I'll trade Domery for that six life. All right. I'll just see myself out then. I will take that trade. Good trade. Good trade. You know, collision colossus would have killed Hellkite anyway. Probably don't have like another Colossus, right? I 
I hope I get to just eat this. What? If I hit... Oh, wait. Undo Z. Okay. Whew, that was a that was a clutch on DZ there. Ugh, they had another Colossus. It's unfortunate. Now hopefully they don't have a third Colossus to kill the Hellkite. Really? Really? Hmm. I don't think it's, it's I don't think it's a bluff because it's a it's a bad bluff because I'm at 14. I don't want to just take a bunch of damage. So it's not a good bluff. Could be like an ambush after the blocker. Could just be another Colossus. Huh. I guess it was a bluff. Thank you so much there, Aaron. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Aaron. Sub number 23 on the day. So I was, I was going to leave something back on defense anyway, so I'll just leave the Ceratops back on defense, and now we get to put the counters on Preserver. I've been really liking the Preservers. I don't know, KS Rain. I don't know exactly the date of the next Mythic Qualifier on Arena. Okay, so last chance. If you want to be entered into the giveaway for... Uh, for a code for these sleeves, type the word fox into the chat, like Kurtash did a little bit ago, and Orion just did. Last chance to do that. This is it, last chance. <laughs> Alright, everybody's gotten in there. You only have to type it once. You don't get you don't get multiple. You don't get multiple entries for typing it multiple times. It's just one entry per account. All right, I said last chance. So let's see who is going to win our giveaway. Praven18. Raven18, you are our winner. Hopefully you're still here, Praven. There's Praven, yep. Congratulations there, Praven18. And again, thank you so much there, QQ, for that. <laughs> All right, and then so you should be getting a, a message from QQ here pretty soon and everything there. All right, let's draw land. Ooh, that's a good land to draw. I think, so yeah, like the Simic Flash, Azorius Skies, Gruul Aggro, these have all been, you know, pretty similar. I think that the deck that felt the best was the Simic Flash. I kind of feel like.
I'm gonna take out the Scourge Spitter. The Scourge Spitter attacks for two, but it's a 1-1. One, one. Okay, that's pretty good. We can kill this robber. So they don't get another trigger. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to just play Spellbreaker. I'll leave the Spellbreaker back on D and attack with the Wildborn. Uh, kind of, kind of bad. Definitely bad luck for the Orzhov Knights deck yesterday. Um, yeah, we had, yeah, definitely bad luck. Like we had, we drew so many lands in the games for our twenty-three land deck. Like we were consistently hitting nine land drops. It was kind of ridiculous. Um, yeah, I, I liked how the deck played though, and I liked the power of the, the cards that we were playing. And so it, it felt better than our record indicated. So seven, this is ten. Seven puts him down to ten. So I could either attack for ten to, and then it's like very easy. Like if I go haste, it's very easily lethal for me the next turn. Um, but then they they do get the two damage in on me. Um, where if they draw anything that does three damage, I die. Because then I have no defense. This, they have to draw something to do four damage to kill me, but it's still pretty easy lethal for me. With another haste creature here. Yeah, thanks, QQ. Yeah, those giveaways were sweet. Thank you so much. All right, so another 5-2. Whoops. There we go. All right, so triple 5-2. I liked how this deck felt more than how Golgari felt. I think that the, the haste in this deck... Felt a whole lot better than, like, what we had with Golgari. It felt like we had a lot better reach here. Like, whenever, you know, like, with Golgari, whenever our opponents wrathed our creatures, we were just, like, dead. But this, like, our creatures were getting damage in, and then they would wrath, and then we'd play no another creature that would get more damage in. And it felt a lot better there because of that. Um, yeah, my Golgari draws were pretty bad. They were pretty bad. But I, that that is true. I have to say that I really liked how this card played. This card felt really, really good. I liked Wildborn Preserver a bunch. Um, more so than Growth Chamber Guardian, even with Growth Chamber Guardian and the, the, the Great Henge thing. Growth Chamber Guardian just kind of meh. But like like later game when you have more mana, you know, like you know, like, like there is you know, like <clears throat> we had like seven mana, could play Ceratops, put three extra counters on this thing. Just like getting this thing um to be really big. But um yeah i liked this deck this deck felt pretty good so as far as uh conclusion there um i still want to play a simic deck we'll do simic deck tomorrow so if you're watching on youtube i'm going to do one best of one league tomorrow we'll we'll play simic i'll i'll take some time uh tonight and tomorrow before the stream we'll put together a simic deck so you know with gilded goose oko you know and and good simic cards um and so we'll see how that matches up also um as far as what deck to kind of play for this event 
but again if you're watching on youtube let me know like what you're thinking about the event like which which one of these de these decks were you really impressed with um you know do you like these decks that there is there a different list you know deck that you're having a lot of success with in best of one if you're somebody who plays a lot of best of one you know let uh let us know there in the comments um but yeah thanks have a good night everybody that's here in chat and everything with the the kind words and everything thank you there um but uh yeah so so these three decks went pretty well i'd have to say out of the three i think simic flash was the one that felt the most powerful um more most consistently powerful i liked i liked how it felt it the two losses there um one was a perfect gruel curve out and um where we were on the draw which you know best of one that's going to happen and the other one was a, a hand i needed to mulligan so that happened with both of those um the the azoria skies um helped or like the azoria skies felt like a deck that had a really really high upside but was less consistent than the others but whenever you know whenever you do like your mana works for like the three turns you get to to unload a bunch of one drops then you have rally of wings that's just beating these other decks um, it's just too fast for everything else it's the fastest deck um, and then gruel aggro here just kind of felt pretty consistent and felt good um, and hit hit really hard haste creatures were awesome so there we go that's gruel aggro so again if you're watching on youtube make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and leave some comments let me know what you think about best of one and everything Hope you all are excited for this weekend event. It should be a lot of fun. Um, like I said, I'll play uh, Simic tomorrow uh, one time, or I'll, I'll lead off with that for best of one before we get to other uh, back to best of three tomorrow. So hope you all that enjoy best of one. Hope you all enjoyed these decks today. Um, no, I like Ceratops more than the Giant. The Giant, when I've played it in this deck, has been disappointing, I'd have to say. Yeah, Cavalcade is not the best aggro. Confirm. Go Azorius, Skies, or Gruel. Cavalcade did not feel good playing at all. <laughs> There's too much. Like, the green decks just could not beat. As we saw, kind of saw there, like, Cavalcade was rough. All right, there we go. Again, thank you so much for watching some Gruel aggro. Watch some best of one today. And I'll see you for the next video. Have a good night.